goodness the garden's getting prettier and prettier all right good morning everyone on this hot hot day sorry for the background noise um i've been so busy i've had a hard time putting him up and vlogging to show you guys all the things that's going on today hopefully i'll do a conglomerate of all things that happened in the past week all our numerous chickens who are broody and sitting on eggs how the um turkeys are growing up some trees that we planted but here I have going on all this noise is my mill I have grain in here it goes into here the, the stones grind it in here and it comes out here in very small pieces I'll show you afterwards that are perfect for baby chicks so for all the babies born in the next month these are gonna be this is gonna be it's food Besides, I'm adding more honey as bait for the bees to come find our beehive. All right, so here's my apple trees. I have one, two, three, four, five on this side, and then another variety, six. It's not really an apple, but whatever. Okay, so this tree here, I want to try something out. I've seen it done. And I'm gonna try it. But look, last year I tried one branch to see if it will work, and it did. This is the branch. I laid it down, and it's growing that way now. So I'd like to do is take all these branches and point them outwards. I want to be able to pick apples kids' height. For a year, it will stay like this until it grows and it stays in this shape, just like the one on the bottom over here stayed in that shape it's an experiment so let's try so i have some string here and i'm gonna see if i can do it okay this is how it looks now all are spread out i don't know if you can see so good but this is how it looks each one is tied down with a string and a rock i get a string let's hope it does well I'll show you this is the apple tree that I planted and look it's blooming look how pretty my goodness love this so it's good to know that we have a few varieties of apples now this guy obviously is the earliest bloomer so we're gonna have staggered apples throughout the year oh this tree is blooming and it does smell. I was debating if it smells. You rarely get to smell it. But it does smell really nice. And it's such a blessing of a bush tree because the chickens get shade in here. And they hide in here during the hot spells. And it's really blooming pretty and smelling I good. put out another watering, another watering can for the hot days. One is not enough. And let's check on our broody mamas. Oh, okay. All right, I would say we're getting a bit squishy in here. Some are just laying and some are broody. Some are waiting to lay. There's an empty one here. No need for everyone to... Okay, just checking that these are all marked eggs. In order to know the difference between eggs that were laid today that we can eat and eggs that she's sitting on that started developing already, I mark them with a marker. Now here, oh, she's also broody? What are they all sitting on different eggs? How many broody mamas can we have in one area? I give up. <laughs> Traffic jam in the chicken house. Ginger's doing a good job. Even on this hot day. Getting them all under her. Making herself more comfy. I'll show you this. These are the lilacs we bought. And they're blooming. Look how pretty. And let me see. Oh my goodness, they smell so good. We got like eight lilac plants. This one's just starting to bloom. This one over here. But that one is already blooming. And it's the purple, two purple varieties. We have a white variety also. 
herding them in. I stand on one side, my daughter stands on the other side. And everyone just follows. <laughs> everyone just follows the leaders. Come, come. Let's see. Come on, everyone, back inside. What can be better? Come back inside and have a breakfast salad bar waiting for them. Have a good day. It's so beautiful. Look how big the leaves are already. Look at all the fruit. Stunning. Okay, I'm at our pomegranate trees. This is the black pomegranate that we planted. And it's really starting to sprout nicely. Now this one, one of the things is that when you plant different variety of plants, then what happens it is it staggers the growing period. If you look at this pomegranate, it didn't even come out any of its leaves, but it's green. When I peel it, it's green. It's live and kicking, but there's not one leaf out. So this pomegranate probably this variety will be ready to eat further, like a few months after that one. And our earliest ripening variety, which is our big pomegranate here that we've had before and tasted wonderful, wonderful fruit. I just want to show you, I see the very, very first flower. Take a look. The very first flower, yay! Last year I mentioned that if we were in the time of the Beis HaMikdash, we would take a red string and tie it around this flower. That's our first fruit that we then will take up to the Beis HaMikdash. So, it's very, very, in, in Bikurim, it's very, very exciting to see the first flower. This is our stunning apricot tree that we planted. It bloomed already, now just the top flowers. Look how beautiful. Look at that. Okay, now what we got going on here are apricots starting to grow. But because um, we can't eat from this tree this year, because it's within the first four years of planting of a tree in Eretz Yisrael, I don't want the tree putting energy into the fruit. I want it putting energy into the roots and making it stronger. So all these fruit, these baby fruit come off. But look, look how many fruit. Look at all this. It's like, wow. On a tree we just planted Look how many fruit, it's like bursting with fruit. What a bracha. What a bracha. Let's see if it smells. No, there's no smell, but, and this is just the beginning. I have all these down there. I would say there's around 50 fruit on this one tree. Okay, so just a quick peek at our setup because it's Friday. Of course, all these things always happen on Friday. No, we're not talking about the news or the newspapers. We're talking about the new baby chicks. We got four Brahma chickens to make a long story short. I've been giving my incubator out to some friends who wanted to hatch out chickens. And they each put in some eggs for me of a different breed. So this is the Brahma breed. They have feathers on their feet, which is like shoes. It's really cool. They're very tall breed. And they're dual purpose. These are the feathers and the feet. My daughter's going to take care of them. We're going to hand raise them so they're friendly. And they're, it's more like a pet. They also give good eggs. And um, let's take a look. We're excited about this. Come here. Come here. First time on grass. Let their instincts kick in.